Hello everyone and welcome to this week's behind the scenes devlog video and this week I'm going to continue working through all the little suggestions and bug fixes that I need to get done before release but also this week there's a slightly bigger update that I'm going to be working on and that is to do with the evolution system. Uh, quite a few people have mentioned that it's perhaps not as user friendly as it could be and seeing as it's quite a core mechanic of the game I really need it to be perfect so that's going to be the main thing that I'm going to be focusing on this week. This morning I've just been working on the in-game task system. Firstly I had to fix a bug where the tasks were occasionally not recognising that you'd met a certain requirement, and then I was adding a load of new repeatable tasks into the game. So you can see the full task tree here, and the repeatable tasks are tasks that you can keep completing, and every time you complete it you get the reward again. Um, so for example in the game this is a task to produce a certain amount of honey, and every time you produce that amount of honey you'll get some DP. So in the world here you can see that I've set up a kind of bee farm with loads of beehives and these are going to keep producing honey so over time I'll keep completing that task and I'll keep getting the DP reward so it becomes kind of like a regular income. So in last week's video I mentioned that I was thinking about changing the logo for Equinox and I got a lot of feedback about that which was fantastic and um, half of the feedback were people saying that they like the current logo but maybe I should remove the lines between the triangles and change the colours up a bit. Um, I will try that at some point but I just haven't had the time to do that yet. But the other half of people were saying that they would like to see a new logo and the new logo should be something simple, it should be something low poly and something to do with nature uh, because obviously the game is about nature. So I've had a go at that um, in the last couple of days and this is what I've come up with. I'm really happy with the low poly leaf, I think I'm definitely going to use that for the game's icon, um, but I'm still not decided about the logo. So again, let me know what you guys think, whether you like this new logo, whether you prefer the old logo, but imagine it without the lines and with slightly different colours, or of course I could have some mix between the two. For the rest of the afternoon today, I've been doing a bit of planning to do with the evolution system, just working out exactly what's wrong with the current system and deciding what exactly I'm going to change. I think I'm going to have to make some changes to the UI, which is a little bit annoying, but I'll look more into that tomorrow. Um, also this afternoon I was working on another suggestion, which was that when you start playing the game for the very first time, it might not be completely obvious what you need to do. So now when you start a new world, I've added a notification, which tells you to have a look at the tasks, and I made the task button flash so that it's obvious where the tasks are. And then if you just follow through the first tasks in the game, they act like a kind of tutorial and they take you through the basics of the mechanics in Equilinox. So today I'm going to be getting started with making the changes to the evolution system and um, if you remember in the game you can evolve any of your current species to unlock new species. So for example the grass tuft here, I can evolve the grass tuft to unlock any of these three species and at the moment the way that you do that is that you pay some DP to start the unlocking process and then you need to meet some requirements and if you meet those requirements then this progress bar goes up and once the progress bar gets to the end the new species is unlocked. Um, the biggest issue that people have with this is that it's not very easy to find out whether you've met those requirements before you pay the DP price. So today I'm going to be making a few changes to the UI, probably breaking it into two panels, and hopefully making the whole system a bit nicer to use. So I've just been getting started with the reshuffling of the Evolution UI and the first thing that I've done is, as I mentioned, to split the UI into two panels. So on the left side you've got an overview of all the species that you can unlock and then by pressing a button you can see the requirements for that particular species on the right. Next up today I've been working on these new buttons here which you can toggle on and off to see the breeding requirements for that particular species. Uh, so you can see that this makes it much easier and quicker to have a look through the species that you can breed and see the necessary requirements. And I'm also going to put the start button for the breeding process in this panel so that you can actually see the, see the requirements first 
you can check whether you've met the requirements before you actually pay the DP to start the breeding process. Lastly this morning I've just been adding the prices for evolving each species next to the button so that you can see the prices and I've also started work on this button here which you're going to have to press to actually start the breeding process for that species. But now I'm going to stop for a lunch break, have some lunch and I also want to do a bit of baking this afternoon. This afternoon progress has been a little bit slower, I tried to do some more work on the evolution UI and then I got a little bit stuck and just ended up kind of staring at codes not really making any progress. So I switched to working on the sound effects again and I've just been looking for more sound effects that I can add into the game. Um, but now I'm going to stop for the evening, I'm going out to meet a few friends so I'm going to have a nice relaxing evening and then I'll try again with evolution UI tomorrow morning. So slowly making progress on the new UI this morning, um, so you can see that the button is now greyed out if you haven't met all the requirements. Uh, if you have met the requirements you can now press the button to start the process and that brings up the progress bar and on the left here it says in progress and it greys out all of the other options so that you can't switch anymore. Um, so it's all coming along nicely, it's just a little bit slow but UI work always takes me a while. It is half past four and I have now pretty much finished making all of the changes to the UI for the evolution system. I'll probably go back and tweak some of the colours and change some sizes at some point like I always do, but all of the hard work is now done. So I can now give you a quick demonstration of the new system. Uh, so for example, if I wanted to evolve the oak tree, I can do that and unlock any of these three species here. So before I choose which species to unlock, I can have a look at the requirements and see if I've met them. And if I have met the requirements, then I can pay some DP and start the process of unlocking that species. When I do that, you can see that the sycamore tree now says that it's in progress and the other options are all greyed out so that you can't switch. While this is in progress, I can close the UI, go away and come back and you can see that it's still open, still progressing. And eventually, when that progress bar reaches the end, the new species is unlocked, as you can see here, so we've now got a sycamore tree. And if we have a quick look back in the evolution UI for the oak tree, you can see that the sycamore tree option now no longer exists because the sycamore tree is already unlocked, but you do of course still have the options for the other two species. So last week you might remember that I implemented the possibility for music tracks to be unlocked by tasks and now I've just been going through a few tasks and actually making use of that functionality and giving a few tasks the music track rewards. It is 7 o'clock in the evening now, uh, I've just been for a run and made myself some dinner and this evening I'm just going to be working through a few more things to do with the in-game tasks, a few things to tidy up, a few descriptions to change. Um, I don't usually work through the evenings, so I try, try to take a break in the evenings, but because I lost a bit of time yesterday afternoon, I'm going to try and make up for it today. Good morning everyone, it is 8 o'clock on Friday morning, and today I thought I'd mix things up a bit and go somewhere else for breakfast, because it gets a bit boring sometimes just sitting in front of my computer all day. So, here I am on a runway, eating a banana. Back to work now and first up today I've just been fixing a glitch to do with the UI when you're loading a new world. Um, if you press escape before the loading screen has completely closed then you can actually bring it back onto the screen. Um, so I've just been fixing that and now you can see that uh, no matter how many times I press escape the loading screen doesn't come back. Next up today I've been doing a bit of an update for the shop which is that up until now only the base species would be shown in the shop when you first start a new game and then as you evolve more species they'll get added to the shop as well. Um, the problem with this is that as you got further into the game it became a bit tricky to work out which species you still had to unlock 
and the only real way of finding out would be to look through your current species, check their breeding trees and try and find a species that you hadn't unlocked yet. So what I've done now is I've added all of the species into the shop from the very start, um, but obviously all locked. And then as you evolve new species, they get unlocked in the shop. And this means that even when you're near the end of the game and there are only a couple of species left to unlock, you can very easily see which species you've still got to unlock and you can very easily find out how to unlock them. Just one more quick update to the shop before I stop for lunch and that is that if you mouse over a locked item in the shop it now tells you which other species it evolves from so that you know how to unlock it. So this afternoon, as I always do on Fridays, I've just been getting started with the editing for this video but I've got some friends coming around in a bit and I need to cook dinner for them all so I'm going to get cooking now. So that is pretty much going to be it for this week, it's been another pretty good productive week, you can see that the number of tasks here is slowly going down, and it's actually only the purple ones that I have to do before release, those are the ones that I think are absolutely essential, and then the orange ones are things that I'd like to add but they aren't completely necessary, so I'll add them if I have time, or maybe after release I can add them as well. And next week I'd actually like to get through pretty much all of the purple ones, um, apart from a few large ones which I'll leave for the week after and I'll probably also try and do some marketing next week because I didn't really do too much this week. But for this week, that is it, so thank you guys very much for watching this video, do subscribe if you haven't already, have a fantastic week, and I will see you all next time.